It's crazy to see how quickly the YouTube platform moves from camera to camera so quickly, but I've been obsessed with shooting on 16mm ever since one of my first projects in film school. We are given an assignment to shoot on 16mm and I remember being super nervous about that project because I didn't think my film would turn out. The whole class had gotten their footage back and right then and there, I fell in love with this medium. As someone who watches a ton of YouTube, I used to watch a ton of travel films with the crazy zoom transitions and crazy camera moves and I would always bring my camera with me when I go and travel and I never really felt motivated to bring my camera out and I would never really do anything with the footage when I came back from my trips. Ever since I got a Bolex, I feel way more inclined to bring it along when I travel and end up shooting a lot more with it. Shooting on 16 captures a different emotion and feeling that's quite hard to put into words. There's just something about bringing this camera around that gives me a feeling like no other camera and when you don't know whether you exposed your film correctly and if your film is even going to turn out, it makes you kind of like nervous and excited to see the footage. This camera is super clunky to bring around which makes me even more selective every time I use it and there's something about the process of loading the film and making sure everything is running properly there's just something about that that just makes it feel so authentic. To me it has such a timeless and nostalgic feel to it that can't be replicated otherwise on digital. I'm not looking to get into the whole film versus digital thing, but I think it's worth talking about this medium because someday it's gonna die out. In Canada, a roll of film costs around $70 and another $90 to develop and scan. So that's about $160 for 2 minutes and 30 seconds of footage. Obviously, it's not sustainable to use this camera on every single project, which is why I try to use it on special moments. I spontaneously purchased this camera secondhand only to find out after my first roll that it wasn't working properly and there aren't very many people who repair these but luckily there is one person in Canada. I think using this camera will only force you to become a better cinematographer because you're relying a lot more heavily on your light meter and your eye. Something about this camera and footage makes everything feel timeless which is a feeling I don't get when shooting digitally. I try to shoot around 1-2 to two rolls of 16mm or Super 8 once a year because I think it's important to document special moments in life. I will be shooting some more rolls of film with this camera so if if you're interested in seeing those, stay tuned and subscribe.